our ability to succeed is not so much determined by our attitude towards success as it is by our attitude towards failure because statistics reveal that those who succeed also failed multiple times the difference between the failures of the world and the successes is this the failures they gave up after four defeats the successes also failed 10 times but continued and achieved victory on the 11th attempt having discussed 20 aspects of the fine science of mind management today we are going to complete the jigsaw puzzle with the 21st piece and this is perseverance what is its importance success is a journey and before we reach the ultimate goal we will repeatedly encounter failure success requires the ability to persevere despite difficulties and hardships that is how mastery is achieved in the world let me give you an example of this in india we have the nda the national defense academy at khadakwasla which is the pride of the nation in the united states is the united states military academy at west point admission to it is extremely difficult to begin with one needs a senator's recommendation all the marks from 8th grade onwards are evaluated one must be the school captain in at least one sport to be considered your complete physical emotional intellectual personality and maturity is evaluated finally 14000 candidates are shortlisted from them the list is reduced to 2500 students and in the end 1200 students are admitted to the institute now an interesting phenomenon takes place in the very beginning they are subjected to a 2 month long rigorous program called the beast by the end of the beast 25% of the students have dropped out what is it that makes these students who tried so hard and for so long for admission drop out in such a small span of time they discovered it had nothing to do with the intelligence intelligent students were dropping out as much as those who were not so sharp it had nothing to do with physical abilities as well this phenomenon was always a mystery to psychologists military experts and educationalists until a research psychologist called angela duckworth discovered the correlation those who continued scored higher on grit grit was their passion for success plus their perseverance so perseverance is an essential ingredient for success in any field that is why saint kabir says sona sajjan sadhu jan tute jude so bar durjan kumbh kumhar ke eke kara darar 
look what is the difference between evil people and good people those good people they are like gold you break them a hundred times by the quality of perseverance they will repeatedly overcome defeat and join back again and evil people they are like the mud pots once hit they are smashed forever so mastery requires constant effort very few people are born geniuses the german philosopher frederick nietzsche he expressed it very well when he said our ego likes to believe in the cult of genius which states that anybody who is competent was born so because it absolves us of the responsibility to strive for expertise however as the saying goes genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration hence the famous words from the english poem the lives of great men were not made by sudden flight but while their friends slept they were toiling upwards in the night if we wish to accomplish excellence in this practice of mind management we will have to strive and toil and patiently wait till the goal is reached that patience is in short supply in today's world which is the world of instant results rapid x english instant coffee 3 minute dhyanam however to achieve success in meditation 3 minute dhyanam will not work when we meditate we have yet so many blemishes to overcome let us take inspiration from the bamboo one man complained to god oh lord my life is in shambles i have had enough i am going to give up the lord said no don't give up but why oh lord i am telling you hold on but my lord my perseverance is given way the lord said let me tell you i sowed the fern seeds in the earth and also the bamboo seeds at the same time the fern sprouted in a few days and in a few weeks it had spread through the garden it was little shrubs on the other hand the full year went by and the bamboo sprout was still not visible another year went by after 4 years i was wondering should i give up on the bamboo but i waited and in the 5th year finally the bamboo shoot was visible and in a little while in the short span of 6 weeks it had shot up to 90 feet height what was it doing for those 5 years it was creating the foundation required for achieving great heights it was throwing its roots deep into the ground to be able to sustain the force of such a high tree similarly if you want to create beautiful blossoms and fruits from your own mind do not give up let us again take encouragement from the elephant i am told that once a mother dog and a mother elephant got pregnant at the same time the dog quickly had a litter of six puppies 
while the elephant was still carrying. After six months, the dog was pregnant again and gave birth to another litter. And after six more months, it had another litter of puppies. While the mother elephant's baby was still in the womb, the dog could not resist and went up to the elephant and said, If you do not mind, can I ask you a question? Are you actually pregnant? I have had three sets of puppies and you have not given birth to any baby. The mother elephant responded, What I am bringing to the world is not a puppy. I am bringing forth something that will evoke awe and wonder in whoever looks at it. When my baby walks on the earth, the earth will shake. Creatures will make way for it. That immense creation requires an incubation. So, if we are interested in accomplishing expertise in all that we have learned, do remember, in their practice, you will fall. But every time you fall, learn the art of a better walking and get up yet again. Let me share with you my own story, which is a little hilarious. When I completed my Vedic studies at the feet of my spiritual master, with great satisfaction, he said to me, You have done well. Now go and spread this knowledge in the world for the benefit of the others as a service to your Guru. But remember, never become nirash, disappointed. If there are only eight members in the audience, look on them as the Asht Mahasakhis of Radha Krishna and speak with utmost inspiration, finding meaning and purpose in it. The first lecture series of mine was set in a temple in a small town. I had no idea of how the series was to be publicized. I got a printer to publish 125 leaflets, which later I came to know was no number at all. And they were handed over to the pujari of the temple to distribute to the devotees. I do not know what the pujari did with it. But finally, when I arrived for my talk, I discovered there were only seven members in the audience. I thought to myself, Sri Maharaj had said, even if there are eight, do not be discouraged. There are here seven. If I add myself, we will be eight. Let me begin. To ensure that I would not get distracted while speaking, I closed my eyes and began. After an hour, when I thought I had completed my dissertation, I opened my eyes and to my dismay, there was only one member in the audience. Crestfallen, I asked him, what happened to the others? He said, Swamiji, please don't mind. But you were so boring that they all have gone home. I said, really? Why are you sitting here? He said, Swamiji, the bed sheet that is on your asan belongs to me until you get up. I cannot take it away with me. That is why I am waiting. I thought, my, I am going to be a complete disaster in this. I gave a phone call. In those days, we had the landline to my Gurudev and said, Maharaji, I don't think I have it in me to fulfill your instruction. He said, my child, 
Remember, mastery is achieved one step at a time. Do not give up. And I kept that instruction on my head and slowly, slowly started achieving excellence in my works. So, in devotion, if we wish to succeed, we must be willing to persevere.